There's always you screaming at the beginning of this. Because a lot of good people know I'm excited. If people can hear... Uh, my... Boiler, I guess. <laughs> boiler. This is in England. I know, what do you call it? Uh, I think we call it a furnace here, but like, don't quote me on that. I don't, I've never lived in any kind of northern temperature or anything like that. Okay, fair enough. <laughs> yeah. yeah. You don't know what that is, dude. Yeah, I'm a tropical person. Uh, Why are you mad? Because I have nice weather, bro. Now let me tell you about my NASCAR story. Okay, tell me the NASCAR story. Okay, I think it was my wife's birthday. And we were out okay. at a bar. Our spy plane's in the air. And, uh... There was some drunk guy. Oh, NASCAR in a bar and a drunk guy. Oh, what a shot. No, 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 there was... NASCAR wasn't on TV. Okay. But, this guy came up to me and he, like, started screaming in my face, asking me if I knew who Danica Patrick was. Uh-huh, and you said? Well, I didn't know at that time who she was, so I was like, no. And he was like, she's a NASCAR driver, she's... Just a big driver or something. And I said, okay. Hey, okay, what? thanks. Okay. And there was a band in the corner. And, uh, the guy was like, see that guy up there, the lead singer? And I said, yeah, yeah, I see him. And he said, he fucked her in the ass! <laughs> she's from where I'm from. Mm. And then he just went around the bar for the next ten minutes, high-fiving everyone, and oh, just yelling, boy. IN THE ASS! <laughs> while high-fiving. What a pro, you should've, should've hung out with that guy more. That's <laughs> my amazing NASCAR stuff. It's oh. not NASCAR, obviously, but... Well, I don't know, I gotta admit that, you know, I, w I would be pretty amazed if a guy actually fucked Danica Patrick in the ass. She doesn't look like, she doesn't look like she takes him to the poop shoot very often. Well, I can't confirm nor deny it, <laughs> but this is what he told me. You mean you didn't get his number for a follow-up story? I did not. <laughs> Could have got him into one of these episodes. I know, he would have called him up, hey, so you're the guy that knows a guy who fucked Danica Patrick in the ass. Yeah. Basically, yeah. What a pro. So let's explain why Chew Man isn't in here, Pandas. Because he's too busy making that real life money. Yes, Chew Man is, uh, he's busy this week, I guess. Or just not talking to me. Well, it's one of the two. What he's actually doing is plotting out which corner I'm going to work for him tonight. Yep. Yeah, gotta go where, you know, where the money is. Yeah. Oh, I've only just realized you're talking about being a hooker. That's how dumb I am. Yeah, that's what I was saying. What do you think I was trying to imply? I don't know, like... Cuban... I don't know. Not all Cubans are prostitutes, Vic Moly. <laughs> Apparently they are. We have standards. No, you don't. I know. Um... What are we gonna discuss, Pandas? I don't know, man. I'm sick. You wanna ask me about MLG Orlando? Oh, yeah. How was that MLG Orlando? Uh, it was very boring. Um, if you don't like StarCraft, don't ever go. Unless you're competing. I guess if you're competing and you have a chance to win money, it's a different story. But as a spectator, it's pretty goddamn awful. I imagine watching Black Ops. I mean, it's bad enough playing that game, let alone watching someone else play it. Professionally. <laughs> um, sorry if I coughed there, if you heard that, but... Uh, yeah, it's pretty bad. I actually have a video I'm gonna upload right after we're done with this that is a kid sleeping during... It came out pretty bad because, uh, there wasn't, like, enough light for my camera, but you can tell he's fucking sleeping. I imagine I'd be asleep, too. Uh, yeah. It, it, it's, it's just... It's a, you know, I'm pretty sure, like, at the beginning of the whole life cycle that is, um... That is, um... Black Ops... It was probably a lot funner to watch, but uh, it's, no, yeah, no. I mean, at the beginning, you didn't know. I guess it was more of like an ignorant thing. Like I'm ignorant, so this game's good. Yeah. So whatever. Um. Well, for anyone who's wondering, my tweet earlier about me making videos where I'm talking or reading children's books—that's not a joke. I'm definitely making a series where I read a children's book over some mass murder. I think you, you should find pornographic novels. I think that'd be funnier. <laughs> yeah, come on. Think, like, just think about it. Oh, and he comes down to her succulent breast. Come on. That'd be a lot funnier. I'd have to read it in the creep voice, though. Yeah, and you gotta throw in some neckbeard laughs. That'd be fun. Well, nah, that's too much effort. Children's <laughs> book. 
grammatical <laughs> readings of children's books. As long as you give me a healthy combination of the Bernstein Bears and uh, the Bernstein Bears and Green Eggs and Ham. Green Eggs and Ham. That was another book I had a thought of, and now I can't remember what it is. God wow, damn that's it. useless then, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it really is. Uh, green Eggs and Ham. Green Eggs and Ham. <laughs> <laughs> I really don't... I'm... Let's just leave it. Yeah. Children's books, there. Oh, that's and done. there was a book back in the day. I think it was... What was it? It was like teaching kids about private parts. It was like called like why does his look different? And the, the front cover <laughs> Yeah, the front cover was a kid one kid circumcised and one kid not circumcised. And, now, and the, the, name of the, the name of the book was Why Does His Look Different? Yeah. That's brilliant. Yes, uh, yeah. I will find this book fake and I will send it to you. Alright, alright. I'll read that. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I bet you will. <laughs> I'll read it. <laughs> I, I I can't do it today, it gives me a headache. I know. Sorry, That's why I was doing it for you. Oh thank you, thank you. You're so you're so kind. Um, also, Pandas, we're going to make a fantasy football league. Yes, we are. Thank so you. if any of you little dickwads want to join, is well, there a limit on teams? I think I think you can do all the way up to 10. 10? No, no, 10, not 10, sorry, uh, 12. Ooh. Yeah, but we already have, uh, it's me, you, Chu, Jay, uh... Chapman, Rick. Yeah, Chapman, Rick. Mrs. Chu. Yes, so Mrs. Chu. That's seven. Yeah, so we can get three randoms in it. Well, not randoms, but viewers. Five randoms. If it's yeah. 12. Yeah, that's true. But uh, I mean, I could probably get like another one of my friends in there. We could probably get Lefty in there. I know Lefty watches the Pooh's Bowl. You should send Thunder an invite, since he's such a pro at everything. <laughs> yeah, that would be great. Yeah. So if you want in, uh, leave a message in the comments. First come, first served. Yo. <laughs> I see what you did there, again. Like the pause after come? <laughs> yeah, I, yeah. I, I see what you did there, Yeah, yeah. It was, it was pretty funny, I have to say. But there is one um, stipulation. Chu Man wants everyone to have Skype. So he can talk shit. So, uh, I don't know if it's talking crap or whether he just wants to laugh at everyone else. Well, because there's only going to be like a handful of people that know what they're doing. Yeah, like, I'm not one of them. Yeah, Rick and you are going to... Rick is totally clueless, too. So, well, Rick's an idiot. Uh, I don't know. That's the way. <laughs> he's probably a genius and much smarter than me, but he's definitely not a genius. <laughs> oh, how do I know? Oh. That? How do I know that? He has a child. Rick, I apologize for my comments. <laughs> uh, probably doesn't watch my videos, does he? No, he does. I think I, he follows you on Twitter too. What a creep! Which we all know is serious business. Twitter is serious. Yes. Last thing you want to do is get caught up in a Twitter flame war with somebody. <laughs> I like, I love reading the drama. Probably because I'm never involved in it, but I love reading people slagging each other off like they're 12. Yeah. Oh, I just think it's hilarious how grown men argue over a social medium like high school, like high school which chicks. I think it's hilarious. Mm -hmm. uh, it, I like to give my opinion, but I don't like to be involved in it. Yeah, I mean, if you're gonna be a gay, uh, the internet is not where you want to be a gay. A gay? Yeah, that's my that's my term. Don't be a gay. Oh, so it's not literal. No, no. It's just like uh, the word faggot. Like when I say faggot, I don't mean it to insult gay people. It's just you know you're being a faggot. Yep, you're one of those Xbox kids. No, but like they mean it because that's the only. Because they don't know anything, they're stupid, so they just say it. Like, when I say it, I'm like, you're being a homo. You know, stop stop being a homo. Yeah, I'm glad that you managed to drop the F-bomb in this. I have? Well, not not the F-bomb, the homosexual F-bomb. Oh, you want to hear, um... You wanna hear no, I don't want to hear any racist slurs or no, anything. No, 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 it's a story about F-bombs. When, uh, when I was in college, um... My dream was to, um, like, I wanted to be in radio because I saw that Howard Stern movie, Private Parts, and I thought it was right. hilarious. So basically, I wanted to be, uh, like, a Howard Stern type, you know? And um, so I go, my brother had this radio show at our college news station, which covered sports. And he's like, hey, you want to come on here? We'll talk to this guy. We could probably get you, like, a, a radio show at the college station. I'm like, oh, yeah, sure, whatever. You know, that sounds cool. 
So I get on this radio station with my brother, and it's like a big joke, like, oh, we're brothers, and we have a radio show, or whatever. Uh, I dropped an F-bomb on the college radio show. My first time out. I was like, what a pro I am. Oh, penguins. Yes, it was awesome. Because we, we were talking about uh, Dolphins football, and some guy goes, talking about some coach, and I'm like, I wouldn't let him coach my fucking kid's Pop Warner team or something like that. And yep, it was right there on the radio, like a boss. Did uh, did you continue after that? Yeah. Well, I mean, the thing was, it was like they have like a, a call, like a drop button, audio drop. You know what I mean? So right. so they couldn't, um, like they they couldn't they did like I just saw them reach across the fucking panel board and just smack the fuck out of the thing, so I wouldn't get in trouble. I mean, oh. it, it, it's college radio anyway, not like anybody's listening. Yeah. So I imagine that is a, a thankless job. Yep. Did you even get paid for it? No, man. It was it was for free. My my brother actually worked there for a super long time. He was uh he had like a DJ show and everything. I'd like a radio show. So if you own a radio station and you're listening to YouTube videos, <laughs> you're pathetic. Yeah. Uh, how do you know they're pathetic? Maybe they're just in their past time fake. You know, it's very rude of you to judge people. No, judging is what I do, bro. <laughs> Come at me, bro. All right, Pandy Poo, I think this is done. It was pretty terrible this week, huh? This was shit. Yeah, I went off into some huge story about the radio nobody gave a fuck about. <laughs> and, and like, what else, what else did I say that was stupid? Who knows? What time? Who knows? What's the, what time are we on? Like eleven forty-five. Oh really? Okay, bye. <laughs>